Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the separately excited DC generator. So whenever a field supply is field supply is given, then flux will flowing through the armature winding. Then armature cuts the flux and EMF is induces. That EMF will be collected by the load. That means finally, the we are giving, we are getting, we are, it will get some, it will get, we are giving, finally we are getting, so we will get the out, this is the output power and the, this is the, generally this is the input power for the generator and this is the output power not input and output like that so it, it will generates and it will finally it will go to the like this okay yeah so we can give some relation for by using this generally brush drop sometimes brush drop is neglected compared with the, all the voltages brush drop value is less that's why we should neglect the brush drop so final input the input generated by the generator it will reach the output like this and it will also combine with the armature losses then it will go for the brush drop okay finally we can write the equation is like this that for generator the output value is the output equal to you can write like this so whenever we are giving some input to the generator it will give some output and with that output it will generate some loss so what is the input here we can write the input generator input is eg into ia and we will get the output is output voltage into armature current losses is we will directly take the armature losses that is ia square ra so from this we can write we will get the output value equal to input voltage minus ia square ra also so to, from the total input by removing the armature losses we will get the output is here so to get the maximum power developed for this so in order to get the maximum output so this is the armature generally and it will supply to some load so for this load to get the maximum power so we should differentiate with some term and is equal to zero we will get the maximum power so that's why what is the variable term here here the variable term only the thing only the thing armature is the variable current why armature is the variable current whenever the load is varied automatically the current taken by load also varied so therefore armature current is the variable so to get to get maximum maximum output develop to get the maximum output develop maximum output means so generally it is a generator it will generate maximum electrical power electrical power is to generate the maximum electrical power so we should do with output power differentiate with respect to current and equate to zero we should equate to zero then we will get that so this value you know that this value I will write P means EG into IA plus this is loss that is IA square RA. So do this differentiation D by DIA of EG IA EG IA so this is a minus not plus minus loss that is IA square RA and equate to zero. So by differentiating with respect to this term, EG is the constant and by differentiating with respect to term, 2IA square will become 2 into IA and RA equate to 0.
from this we can find out the armature current ia equal to eg by 2r eg by not 2r 2ra so we can take it consider as the first equation so to get the maximum output power developed the armature current must be eg by 2ra okay so we will again write in the eg formula eg equal to generally developed eg is nothing but it consisting of armature resistance with the load resistance so i will substitute this eg value generally load voltage with drop so just substituting just multiplying with the eg is like this you know that v equal to v value equal to armature current into load resistance you know that this is armature current into armature resistance from that we can get eg equal to if we common the armature current we will get armature resistance plus load resistance from this we can find out the armature current value is eg by ra plus ra so we will get the we will get this value but you know armature current value is eg by 2ra compare with that so from equation 1 you know that ia value equal eg by 2ra equate this both ias we will get we will get eg by ra plus rl equal eg by 2ra eg by 2ra so by equating both we will get ra plus rl equal to ra so from this we will get finally the rl value equal this is the ra rl value equal to ra so from this equation we will understand we will understand what is the understand we should have we should understand load resistance must be equal to the armature resistance how it available generally this is the generated power eg negative and positive armature has some resistance armature resistance and it will transfer to the load so that is the load resistance rl and this is the output generally generally this is the output whenever if you varying the load resistance at which condition load resistance value will be equal to the this source resistance but armature resistance then mechanical power condition so then the maximum power developed so what is the principle what is the theory max uh, maximum power transfer theorem the theory is maximum power transfer theorem what is the maximum power transfer theorem maximum power can be transferred this is the source actually and this is the load from source to load maximum power can be transferred when the load resistance will be equal to the source resistance this is the source resistance okay this is the condition and we will get generated emf also so you know the generated emf eg equal to load voltage plus ia ra from this we will get v equal to eg minus ia ra and you know that eg value is you know that eg value ia value equal to eg by 2 ra into ra both ra ra cancel from this we will get eg this is eg minus eg by So, eg minus eg by 2 so from this we will get the voltage value is eg by 2 so finally we will get the load voltage what is v here v simply the load voltage how much you will get eg by 2 so therefore for dc generator 
to get maximum power developed maximum power developed at the output equal to two condition the first condition is the load resistance must be equal to the source resistance source resistance is nothing but the armature resistance second condition load voltage must and should be eg by 2 if this condition is satisfied automatically this condition will also be satisfied so this is about the for operation of dc generator separately excited dc generator and the maximum mechanical power maximum output power developed for the dc generator okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you